information brand new, art and commodity in the 1980s is on view until 13 May. For more information, visit the Hirshhorn Museum website address Hirshhorn Museum Independence Avenue and 7th Street Washington DC 20560 The 1980s, the decade of decadence, power shoulders, big hair, big bucks and Generation X, as the biggest ad agencies of the era, among them Saatchi and Saatchi, the WPP group, ate up the smaller fish becoming huge conglomerates, and cable TV arrived. Commercial culture began to cut its teeth. Meanwhile in New York, a group of young, gung-ho artists responded to the insatiable consumerism with art that both attacked and absorbed advertising aesthetics and its politics. Artists like Jeff Koons, Barbara Kruger, and Richard Prince were at the forefront, often appropriating their material directly from adverts. Installation view of brand new art and commodity in the 1980s at Hirschhorn Museum with new. New too. Pictured right, 1983, by Jeff Koons, lithograph billboard mounted on cotton, copyright Jeff Koons their approach quickly spread across the country and abroad, what began as satire quickly grew to become a defining moment in contemporary art, says Gianni Jetzer, curator of brand new, art and commodity in the 1980s, at the Hirschhorn Museum in Washington DC, an exhibition exploring art and artists relationship to commodity and commerce, focusing on works made in the 1980s by more than 70 artists. The show serves up a slice of 80s ideology on a plate of trenchant criticism of the socio-economic system, many of them haven't lost their acuity. Thirty years after it originally appeared in 1988, Christoph Wodesko's iconic, 68 feet projection onto the facade, pictured below, of the Hirschhorn Museum is being restaged. The work, the artist reflects, is strangely familiar and at once unbearably relevant. In it, imagery spliced from ads, films and newspaper headlines in the US at the time, abortion and death penalty laws, floats imposingly above visitors' heads, a comment on way mass media manipulates us all. Hirschhorn Museum, Washington DC, 1988, by Christoph Wodesko public projection on the facade of the museum. The installation has been recreated for the 2018 exhibition, courtesy of the artist and gallery Long. New York it was also in the 1980s that artists, perhaps for the first time, had to face up to the place of their art as part of a market. The physical art object was now something to acquire and own, with buyers lusting for next big thing. Though this movement defined, in many ways, the way artists work today, see the new Netflix expose of the art world, blurred lines, for proof. This phenomenon of artist as a brand identity, and the art object as commodity, has not yet been examined at this scale, Jetson notes. Installation view of brand new, art and commodity in the 1980s at the Hirschhorn Museum and Sculpture Garden, photography, Kathy Carver untitled, I Shop Therefore I Am, 1987, by Barbara Kruger, photographic silk screen on vinyl, copyright Barbara Kruger, courtesy of Mary Boone Gallery New York, photography, Tim Nicewander slash imaging for art.com untitled number 121, 1983, by Cindy Sherman, chromogenic color print, courtesy of the artist and Metro Pictures New